So we're at Sweet Tomatoes near Disney and I don't even know how long that it has been since we've been to Sweet Tomatoes. What do you even think, Minara? Two we've gotten to years? Out, like you, last year. But I'm like, like count. It's probably been like two years. No, I got takeout mac and cheese for you guys, but I haven't been to Sweet Tomatoes. It's true. Maybe even three years. Wow. But I have been wanting to come back here for a long time. Have you been here before, Chris? I haven't been here in like six years. Okay, fine. Yes, you get a tray when you come in. And then there's plates. I always get two plates just in case I need one when I'm at the table for separating salads and stuff. There is this uh, salad bar. It's salad. That's what it is. This is a salad bar. It's a giant salad bar. And Sweet Tomatoes, they have, I don't know if it's every two weeks, they change their menu. Do they have a special kind of salad and a special kind of soup? And I'm going to show you over there the rest of the stuff. But uh, you can see the type of salads they have. Wonton happiness is so good. See, they have seasonal favorites. I get a little of this every time just because it tastes really good. Wonton happiness. <laughs> and then I build my own salad is what I do. Because your salad mixes, spring mix, spinach, and romaine. My salad is always so huge because that's what you do at Sweet Tomatoes, you get a salad. <laughs> that's your main meal. Now there are other things besides salad if you don't only want salad. Wow, that's a big piece of spinach. Those are the biggest spinach I've ever seen in my entire life ever and then here so you have more you have the veggies to choose from which I don't get any of those cauliflower yummy broccoli mushrooms each of the veggies so Chris said how do you pay for this is like a buy per plate no it's a buffet it's all you can eat buffet you can get as many plates as you want as much food as you want and when you get your salad you go down here and you check out and you pay for your actual buffet, which is like $10 a person, I think. That's how much you pay. Basically, like it's spinach, romaine, and a bunch of mushrooms. That's what I get. Oh, and tomatoes. Yeah, that's what I usually use my other plate for, so my tomatoes. There's the cheeses, feta and cheddar. Then you get to the pre-made salad section. They have all kinds of pre-made salads. Like tuna tarragon is delicious. Quinoa and feta is a seasonal. Broccoli madness, bok choy citrus slaw, and then a bunch of dressings. And they have lots of dressings to choose from. I'm just gonna show you guys all the different kinds of dressings. House, they're house made, all kinds of yummy dressings. And then um, toppings. They have really good lemonade here. And uh, strawberry lemonade, which is really yummy. Then they have sodas, teas, hot tea, which is by the Republic of Tea, which I absolutely love. And look, this is the coolest part of all. Grammy loved it, milk. You get cups of milk, and you can make chocolate milk. It's chocolate sauce by the ice cream. Oh right there. yeah, that's so a good you just tip. Mix it together, <laughs> and then you get chocolate milk, which actually tastes really good. Another tip is if you guys sign up for Sweet Tomatoes online, they send you coupons. So it was $9.99 for the buffet plus uh, a, a drink, and then here's the hot bar. So what they have is basically soups and breads. Um, I'm gonna eat my salad first, but there's the soups. The deep kettle house chili is so good. Split pea with ham, carrot soup. Big chunk noodle soup, cream mushroom soup, which is a seasonal favorite. Chicken and vegetables and lentil and spinach. Cream and mushroom soup is their uh, specialty this month. Yeah, oh, I forgot about the baked potatoes. Yeah, they have baked regular potatoes and baked sweet potatoes. And then they have condiments for it, which is really good. And they have this, they use that, you know what this is, Chris, I think? They, I think it's like a honey butter. Yeah. yeah. It's so good on the sweet potato. And then the kids' favorite mac and cheese and focaccia. And here's the pastas. You waiting for more mac and cheese? No, I'm waiting for more. Lemon cream? Pizza. Lemon cream pasta. Well, it might be good. <laughs> and then focaccia. They have quattro formaggio, which is just like cheese. Cheesy garlic. And they usually have seasonals. What are these? Wowie Maui with ham. Ew, Oh, I love pineapple on pizza. I think I'm gonna give me a piece of that. And then they have muffins and breads. So you might not like it, plain bread, but they make the most delicious plain bread here. That uh, multi-green bread is so good. And their little corn muffins down there. It's so good with chili on it, Chris. Oh wait, I forgot about dessert. So you have soft serve ice cream. And then you, with the, with the toppings, the caramel syrup here is so good. 
Look, the teeny little ice cream cup. And then there's um, granola and sprinkles and cookie crumbles. I believe only at dinner, which I think is after four, they have a dessert, like some kind of cake. But these brownie bites, they're not too sweet. They're kind of like a chocolate muffin. What we did in the past is get one of these, put it in a dessert bowl, put some caramel on top of it from the ice cream section, and it's delicious. And then um, grapes, tapioca, cottage cheese, creamy almond rice pudding, yum, and sugar-free chocolate mousse. And that's the dessert section. The thing that I love about coming here for me personally is that we used to come here so many times when we were like kids and stuff. That's not your camera. Huh? That's not your camera. I know, it's Chris's. The same kind of camera as mine, but in, in the newer version. Yeah. Um, anyways, and we used to always drink milk because, um, in my personal opinion, their soda tastes like small pot here. It does. So we always, eat, me and Zarius and Grandma and everyone used to drink milk. Zarius and Grandma would always get milk. And Zarius really liked chocolate milk. That's really his favorite thing. And they don't have any of that here, so he, I don't even know how old he was, was like, oh my god, there's chocolate syrup here. So he put it in the bottom of the cup like this, and he put milk on top of it, and you stir it around. And then there you go, now you can get chocolate milk with sweet tomatoes. And that's what we've been doing ever since. And it just reminds me, every single time I drink this, it reminds me of like that day. Actually, Aww. nostalgic for me. Chris, this is all that I expected it to be. <laughs> The salads, wow. really good. the salads were very delicious. I really enjoyed my salad, but the rest of the stuff. Manara, Trevon, any comments about lunch or anything? Um, it was lunch. It was lunch. It was good. Um, I don't know if they changed some things, maybe. Very vegan. Yeah. And I'm not like spoiled on like super seasoned food. It was just a little bland, you know? Even the pizza didn't seem as good as it usually used to. Yeah. Be. But anyway. I don't think I'm going to be coming back for a very long time, probably another few years. I'd rather go to eat at Pollo, Tropical, or um, eat my own salads at home. Bye, -bye. Bye, thank you. Or Culver's or something if I was going to eat out, but yeah. It was like we really wanted to go because we hadn't been forever and Chris hadn't been forever. And we wanted to go, wanted to go, wanted to go. And you know, it was like Trevon said, it's a good thing. What he said is perfect. It was lunch. I'm not full. I ate my salad. I had a piece of that pineapple pizza. Um, the drinks, did the water, you know, you gotta be careful here around Florida. The, it's swamp water, okay? So it tastes like swamp water. Sulfury kind of taste, a lot of it. And sometimes that goes through, if you don't have good filters, to the soda machines. So what happens is your soda or tea tastes like an underlying swamp water taste. And that's what it was here. And all they had that I could drink is a peak lemonade, but it's too sweet. So I figured, don't waste calories. I'll get a vitamin water at the gas station. But I don't know what we're doing today. All I know is I have, well, I have my camera, but I'm using Chris's camera. And um, Trevani's gonna speakers fix. So for Trevon's birthday, Chris got him his subwoofer installed. And it is awesome. Zarius put some stuff in the trunk the other day. We were moving our, the rest of our stuff from our other house. And something got uh, dislodged and it doesn't work. So we're going to the speaker place, I think. And then Trevon uh, works at Universal. And he got a notice today saying that the Universal team members can come ride the new Fast and Furious ride that's getting ready to open at Universal. So we might drop him off at Universal and go to the speakers while he's there. I don't know yet. We were right down the, like a minute away from where we're at right now. But you can take this road right here to the Animal Kingdom. We're right by Disney. I was happy when they built that Sweet Tomatoes there. So the speaker plays in Orlando. I'm probably going all over here in this vlog because I'm turning the camera off and on to talk and things like that. But uh, I don't remember where I left off. But I haven't vlogged in a little while. Someone said I took a mini hiatus. I'm gonna be making videos more, um, but I do want to tell you guys that we're actually getting ready for a big trip. And that's only in 12 days, I think. And it's gonna be on my other channel. And uh, please come over there and watch it when we get back because it's gonna be amazing. It is, the channel's called Sea Cruisers. Chris, you're gonna be vlogging, right? Yep. Chris is gonna be vlogging on Chris Trash with two H's. And what two we're H's doing, at the end. yeah, yeah. <laughs> not C-H-H-R-I-S. Um, we're going to be leaving here on April 24th to drive. Our goal is Houston. So we're ending up in Houston to stay with Favor and Robert. Um, it's our Fenwick life here on YouTube. And we're driving, we're gonna stop in Biloxi, New Orleans for a couple of days, go to Houston for a few days, San Antonio, 
back to Houston. I'm taking an, uh, we're taking an airplane to Cancun, Mexico. We're staying there for almost a week, and then we're coming back, and then we're driving back. So it's going to be about an 18-day trip. Cyrus is going to go stay with friends in Alabama, and he's taking his doggy. I'm actually boarding my dogs for the first time ever. So we'll see how that goes. It's gonna be really, really fun. Zarius didn't wanna go away from his dog that long since that's 18 days. But it's gonna be over in that channel and we're gonna have so much fun. And right now we've just been, you know, making hotel reservations and looking at the places, seeing where we wanna go. I'm thinking about getting a little voodoo doll tattoo in New Orleans. We're just thinking what we wanna do in Cancun, go to the ruins, go swimming in the caves. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait. Have you ever done anything like this, Chris? I want to go stay somewhere haunted. I did too. They have this I place. I will find haunted things. To look at? To do. And we will go do creepy things like, you don't like to do it. I'll like, turn off your lights. I'm going to show you A little creepy is okay, but real See, like, creepy is not okay. Creepy. Look at this traffic, you guys. We're exit 81A, and uh, that's like the beginnings of Orlando. 82A. Well, it's a lot of construction split. going on. It's a lot of traffic. Hello. <laughs> this place is busy, busy, busy. So I don't like coming in this area very much. Are these people getting off at 82A? I don't even know. I mean, they could be backed up this far just to get off. Yeah. Look, you guys, it's Orlando. It looks so small, but uh, it's really nice. Only All this construction bridge. stuff. And, uh, the traffic's not fun. nice. Orlando is my favorite city to live in. Mine too. And I wouldn't, I don't have any intention of living Look at that nice pile of concrete there with the city behind it. I was offered it. like some million dollar job in entertainment production. Oh. So I wouldn't because I'm a bad Where am I getting on to? Look, there it is. Look at the bridge. Look at that 82B. Dang. That's what I would have gotten off to. Wow. It takes you downtown. But I need gas really bad. I'm we'll dying. Nine miles to empty. Car stereo. That's where we're at right now in Orlando to get his stereo looked at and fixed. Orlando. Look at that store. It's called Once Upon a Child. We've been to one of them, haven't we? Once Upon a Child? Wasn't it in like Salt Racer or something? Mm, I don't think so. Just checking the fuse. <laughs> it's probably like checking the power cord. Like when you let something at work, home doesn't work. <laughs> Drove all the way out here because they, they said we could walk in and the guy who can look at it isn't here. So now we have to come back. I'm not, but they have to come back tomorrow to get them to look at it because it just stopped working and it was expensive and it worked good for a few days and then it just stopped working, the subwoofer. Um, so yeah, so we're leaving now. We drove to Orlando for nothing. <laughs> now I guess we'll go take Trevon to Universal so he can ride the new ride. And I think I might go to Whole Foods while he's doing that. So we're at Whole Foods right now because Minara needs Herbamare. Herbamare. I'll show you guys what it is if you don't know what it, it is. It is the so underrated. I've never met anyone in my life who knows what it is. And it's the best thing ever. I put it on every. Grandma used to use literally. it. If it's, if I'm eating a savory food, I will put herbamare on it. Just sprinkle on some rice. I, I, I put it on my popcorn, okay? <laughs> Literally, it's that good. It's amazing. It's so good. It is. Universal is right over there. Trevon's going to ride his ride. Hopefully it's not broken down, he said. First thing I'm doing is getting five of, oh my God, I keep calling avocados. Five uh, mangoes for $5. And uh, Chris hasn't had like a real fresh yummy mango before and they're delicious. So I'm gonna get one, five. <laughs> You know, those are miniolas, aren't they? They're interesting looking, huh? You want one? Those oranges are called sumo citrus. I've never heard of sumo citrus before. Yeah, from California. Oh, yummy. I would, you could, you put that in the oven. Whoa. You like, you could put a little spaghetti sauce on it and sprinkle a little Parmesan and bake it, Chris. Imagine how good that would be. Oh my God, those are so good. Seaweed snack. Oh my gosh. Look what they have. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we have to get like two of them. It sure brings back memories being in this health food store, man. I worked there and oh, oh they had it. They changed it maybe. It's called Herb Sea Salt. I always say herb because that's I know. what my grandma used to say. But it used to just say herb mare. Many people didn't know what it was. Sure, let's see. And now they just show that it's just salt. Same stuff, sea salt, celery, leek. That's it. 
This stuff is amazing, you guys. Natural fine sea salt infused with organic herbs and vegetables. It's amazing. Try it. On avocado, on rice, on anything. Look. Organic chocolate, I mean, covered chia seeds. I never even had a chia seed before. Look, covered goji berries. Those look good. Oh my god, dried chickpeas. Dried chickpeas. Dried chickpeas. You know garbanzo beans? Oh my, oh my god. What in the world is this? Or Amazon Locker. So you can order it to here. Pardon? If you want to have it delivered to your house, they'll put it here. Are you serious? Yep. Really? But I mean, how many people don't have it delivered to their house? I don't understand. Holy cow. Complimentary bags of ice? Yeah, at Earth Fair, everybody who bought meat would ask for ice. And the baggers would have to go in the back to the meat department and get lots and lots of ice. That is so nice. Well, we actually probably should put ice on our, I got two cold things. But we're going to go to Trader Joe's and then go home. Okay. No, we should get a bag of ice because it's cream based stuff. And we're kind of a ways away. Yeah, I'll rearrange it. That is so cool. Thank you. Yeah, I got some frozen things and I got a cold thing. Yeah, that's so neat, isn't it? We'll just get a little bag of ice. Team of the core assistance. Oh, oops. Broke the rules. Don't I follow Amy's uh, I got ice for our cold stuff. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> so we're going to Trader Joe's because I want to get a bottle of wine. And then we're going to go home. And Trevon didn't get a ride his ride. He didn't get a ride today because it... Broke down. <laughs> right? <laughs> Technical difficulties. Hey. He's gonna write tomorrow. I'll tell you guys how it is next time. That's my name. Say it again. I'll tell you the same. I wonder if they still charge for bags here because this is what was put in this bag and it's a double bag. This is what was put in this bag and it's a single bag. And then a little bag of sesame sticks. A little teeny amount of sesame sticks they put in a paper bag. I don't even know why. So that doesn't seem very eco-friendly to me. I'm actually surprised. I didn't pay attention or I would have said, no, please don't do that. Look, I got a banana. I love bananas, Chris, just so you know. Really? It's like, I just like them a lot. Go to the left and make a make There's just a something right about them. Here, yeah. Stop sign, go to the far left and turn left. Correct. So if you guys haven't been to Trader Joe's, it's really awesome. It's kind of like Whole Foods, but not maybe as much organic, but just more natural and uh, way more affordable. And this one is like two minutes down the road from Whole Foods and this is all near Universal, like right near Universal. It's so pretty out here though. Like all this greenery everywhere around here. Usually it's just palm trees. Look, there's fountains and water and it's just really pretty. This is Dr. Phillips. Welcome to Dr. Phillips Trader Joe's. Chris, you want a coffee sample? Do I hear what? Ringing. No, I don't it's hear ringing. Like the one in the doctor's office. Yeah, I have bad hearing, obviously, so I don't hear little ringings that everybody else hears. Aww. I wonder if that's good. Oh, we can find out. I just bought Zara's Amy's mac and cheese from Whole Foods. Good? It's like real cheese. That's like half the price. That's why it's good. Probably the one I just bought down the road. <laughs> it tastes like real cheese. Not like, right, so like fake stuff, you know, like process. Yeah, yeah. Look at this cute little cup. Isn't that cute? That thing is 14 ounces, only $2.99 for the mac and cheese. <laughs> 14 ounces for $2.99. I just bought that little thing, Amy's mac and cheese. It was $4 for like eight ounces. Oh my God. It was like $5. No, it was I $3.79. I love oh. I'm not saying it's good or anything, but they have wine for $2.99 here. <laughs> <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to taste like, but they have cheap wine. 